Let's do an oldie but a goodie called Joe the Box. We'll go to this web address here and click on boxes.st. We get a bunch of code in chunk format. We'll select all of it and copy it. You can see it's in chunk because it's got the exclamation marks there. You can see it's old because it says 1998 with the creator's uh, initials, probably Mark Guzdeal. So let's open up workspace and type in box all instances and we'll print that and it'll say box. We don't have any class name box. What are you talking about? So this is a bit of a hack but it's a useful hack. Just go to any um, method and file it out because we need to create a .st file which will put the code we just saved into. So there's you know just a blank file. We're going to change its name to boxes.st. So we open it up, select all, copy what we just copied into that, and uh, just save it. Now we've got a useful file which we can um, pull into Squeak. So drag that file over the world and then you'll get a little menu saying um, what do you want to do with it? Just file, file in entire file. <coughs> now when we go back here and, and print this, it'll say, nope, we don't have any instances at all because the uh, system now has a, a class called box. And classes are uh, uppercase to begin with. So if it was lowercase box, that wouldn't be a class at all. <coughs> We can see the code we just loaded in by going to the bottom of the further le furthest left pane. Um, those are the methods. And you get these little strange uh, rectangles in there. Sometimes they appear for no reason when you're loading code in. Anyway, on the class side, we can see we've got a method called new. So we'll send the box class the message new. And look, we've got a box up there in the upper left hand corner. I'll do it again. There we go. A box. I'll say, do we have any instances? And I'll print that and it'll say, no, we have no instances, which surprises me because I thought we would have one, but I guess we're only dealing with the, uh, with the class. And we're not making any instances of the class. Anyway, shows what I know. Let's assign box new to a temporary variable and we'll we'll look at some of these methods that we can um, give uh, parameters to grow, move, move to, and ultimately turn. So a grow 30 do it. And it grew outside the uh, world a little bit. Then grow, then A move to 50, and it moves. Now we'll give it a coordinate point, 100 at 300. Well, there's the initialize. That's it's giving the parameters for initialization. It gives the position, the size. You can change those if you want. Yeah, position, size, tilt, and we can do one more turn. Nope, we're not doing turn yet. A turn forty-five. So that is the classic Joe the Box.